In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a block that allows you to draw a polygon with any number of sides. Hey everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we created a draw square block that allowed a user to enter how big they wanted the square to be. So we created a parameter called length of side, and that allowed the user to decide how big they wanted the square to be drawn. Uh, in this video, we're going to modify this code. We're actually going to create a new block, but we're going to modify the code so that we can draw a polygon with any number of sides that we want. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's going to be very similar to the draw square block. But first, let me make a block, and I'm going to call this uh, draw polygon. I could call it draw shape, but draw polygon works just as well. And this block is going to have two inputs, one for the number of sides, so number of sides, and another input for the length of each side. So let's just uh, let's name it like so that it's easy to read. I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that now we have a new definition that we have to uh, create. I'm actually going to copy the code over for drawing a square. I'm going to paste that inside of my uh, draw polygon block. And you'll see that there's just a couple of changes that we need to make. Uh, the length of the side is going to be the is going to be the same, but because we have a different name for the parameter, I'm going to have to re redrag this one in. So I'm going to drag in the length of each side to uh, that's the parameter. That's like the variable that's going to be entered by the user, and that's where the code is going to reside. And now for the number of sides, that's where we have to we have to change the repeat block to include or to actually repeat all of this number of sides times. Because let's say you're drawing an eight-sided polygon, you're going to draw side, turn, draw, turn, draw, turn, draw, turn, eight times instead of four. So when you're doing a square, it's four. When you're doing an octagon, it's eight. When you're doing a hexagon, it's six sides or six repeats. Um, and then we just have to make one more change. And so if we go to the operators palette, we just have to do a little bit of math to determine how many degrees we should turn um, in between each side. So instead of turning 90 degrees, which is a right angle, which represents a square, we're going to actually divide 360 by the number of sides. So if you think about a square, if you do 360 divided by four sides, that gives you 90 degrees. So in the other block, in our draw square block, we hard coded it by writing 90 degrees. But in this one, we're going to determine it, we're going to evaluate it programmatically. So now that I've done that, so 360 degrees is like the total of the angles. Um, and so when we divide that by the number of sides, we'll turn the correct amount so that we, uh, we end up with a perfect polygon. So that should do it. Let's see if it, uh, let's see if it actually works. So now all I need to do is instead of drawing a square when the green flag is clicked, I'm going to go over to my blocks. I'm going to draw a polygon and that is going to be, let's say eight sides. So we have a, we have an octagon and each side is 50 pixels in length. But now when I draw the polygon, it should draw an octagon and it does. I'm going to erase everything we have on screen. Just change eight to six. So that's six sides and let's go 80 just to see that it's a little bit bigger. And when I click on the green flag, we have our hexagon. So the code works. And that is how you create your own custom block to draw a polygon.